am Pete Moore, editor of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark TV. Some of you guys might recognise this because it looks very much like the old ISSC MSR modern sporting rifle that appeared a couple of years ago. I tested one and to be brutally honest it wasn't all that. So I was very surprised this year when I found out that Anschutz, who are the kings of rimfire and also the kings of accuracy in rimfire, announced they were producing a 2-2 semi for what they call action type shooting. I got one in and it's an ISSC MSR. But don't stop here and don't write it off because this gun is a quantum leap forward from the original. And she's got the reputation to think about and as you can see it is slightly different. As I said it's made for action or what Anschutz called dynamic shooting. Um, it can be standing 50 yards, 25 yards, multiple shots or even sort of like mini practical. The rifle itself is based on the FN Fabric Nationale SCAR, SCAR, which is a modern assault rifle they make. This is obviously in 2.2. What Anschutz have done is the two major things. They've put a solid 16 inch barrel on it. On the original, which is not their design, there was a tube here and inside the tube was a rifled liner, which wasn't, didn't do a lot for accuracy. The butt on the original was also a collapsing side folding stock that was length adjustable. Anschutz, as can be seen, have put this rather unusual skeleton or profile butt on it. It's a little bit short, as you can see. However, the gun is designed for more precision type use, not match for precision. So you can remove this butt plate and you can get items like an extendable yoke type butt plate that locks in your shoulder, weights, all sorts of stuff to put on the thing. Up front, they've gone away from the classic four-way Picatinny rail, which is common with all these rifles. They've kept a single one-piece rail, so you can mount scopes or iron sights. In fact, the rifle comes with basic iron sights as standard. What they have done, they have a small, basically, looks like wood laminate forend, very slim, with a T-rail. So again, you can fit a, a bipod stud, you can fit a hand stop, and all the things that somebody who's looking for more precision on a gun might want. The rifle itself is interesting. The whole lower trigger mech housing and pistol grip is one polymer plastic molding. Controls are ambidextrous, so you have a safety catch, which is safe, fire, flips up and down, and the magazine release here has an M16. But turning the gun round, we see an identical safety catch and another magazine catch, which again is quite useful. What they have done as well for, right, for left hand shooters, this little plastic catch here or lug was originally designed on the original gun to hold the stock folded. On here, it doesn't need it because the stock is fixed, this acts as a case deflector. So if you are a left hander, which is not much fun with a 2-2 semi with a right hand ejection port, the, the cases can come out and smack in the face. This way, they come out, they hit this little, basically, uh, case deflector, and they fall down. So if you're a left hooker, there is no problem shooting this gun at all. What else they've done, which is like the SCAR, it has obviously a cocking handle here, as you can see, which you just pull back and release to cock the gun. Again, cleverly, you can pull this out, you can place it down there, right down there, or if you really want to, you can put it on the other side of the gun. Just clicks back in, so depending on how you want to use the gun or what suits you best, you can cock it right-handed or as I've had it set up for me, which I do prefer, just snips in there at the front and as you're shooting you can cock it left-handed. The magazine is a 10-shot clip. ISSC and Anschutz also in uh, offer a 22 shot clip which is probably more attractive to the to the uh, the more sport orientated shooter where this is more for the target type shooter what's nice about this is it has external pull down followers 
because loading two two mags can be quite a pain. So what you do, get your thumb and finger, you can pull down and take the weight of the spring, which makes it easier to, to fill. In operation, there is no manual hole open system on the gun, as you can see. But when you put the magazine in and the gun is empty and fired its last round, the bolt automatically locks open, which again is quite useful. All you do is pop the mag for the reload and put the new mag back in and then release the bolt. On this rifle, I'm trialing a new little compact scope. It's a Walther RS55. It looks a little bit like the old Trigicon ACOG, but it's considerably cheaper. And for the sort of ranges you're shooting this gun at, which would probably be a maximum of 100 yards, it's ideal. And it's hitting the price at about 150 pounds, which is a bargain. It's also illuminated. I've shot this gun before, and I've got to say, it's a quantum leap forward from the original ISSC. It's very reliable, something I see was not. And I've been running it on RWS match rifle ammunition, which is not exactly the most powerful ammo in the world. However, this gun gobbles it up. It's not a fan of 2.2 subsonics, but then again, it is not really that sort of rifle. But I think you'll be quite surprised about this gun when you see it shooting, because it's, it's, it's a better than the sum of its parts. And if you don't like this more target look, Anchors offer two more guns with side folding adjustable stock, one in black and one in desert tan, with a four-way four-rail forend. But overall, I've got to say, I'm a big fan of these 2-2 semi-auto military lookalikes. This is a lot better gun than it first appears, and well worth consideration.